What is up everyone and welcome back to the channel. Uh, it's been a while, but we've got a full 250 pound bag to have a go through. And it's a fairly recent bag as well, so who knows what could be in here, literally anything. Let's have a quick look at the key date finds from last time, because we always check them after the hunt and then come back in the next one. This actually, a slightly rotated die, very, very slight though. Just spotted that, so I thought I'd pull that out. Because when I look through at the end for errors and dates, I always come back at the beginning of the next hunt, let you know what we found. 12017 Shield, fairly low mintage. And a 2008 Britannia, which is a mildly low mintage, let's say. Let's have a quick look in the book, remind ourselves that we still need Kew Gardens, of course. And I think it's 14 Olympics, everything else we've got, and we've had for quite a while. It would be nice to pick up a couple of Olympics in this hunt for the book. Got our territories at the back there, a couple of errors and foreign coins as well. Well, let's get into it. This is a bit of a rush, to be honest. So we'll get this done now, quickly, before I go and do the school run. Otherwise, we won't get it out today for you to see. Working this evening, so. I actually made a new friend at the post office. A little bit of a travel away, but it's a really nice guy, and he's actually got me some two pound coins as well, so I've got to go and uh, pick those up tomorrow. So, we may have a fairly steady supply of coins. As I said, we won't check key dates mid-hunt. Um, I'll do that after the video and I'll let you know at the beginning of the next one. There's our first find of the hunt. Pretty good condition. 100 years of scouting. 2007. Yeah, really good condition, that one. Lovely little find. And we'll probably keep it. We'll put it there for now. Hope everyone's keeping well. Very excited to be uh, hunting a full 250 bag. Let's see what we can find in there, guys. Everybody else has been having some cracking luck recently, so... Fingers crossed, we might be able to find something. Oh, nothing in that one. There's Paddington at the Tower of London. Recently bought the bunk pack of that. You will have seen it in my last video. What's going to be the lower mintage? Tower or cathedral? Oh, them two are stuck to each other. Ugh. Yuck. There's a bit of a grubby girl guiding to go with our scouts. 2010, just three years after. 100 years again. Not in the greatest of shape, that one, though, is it? Just thick lettering on that. Jeez. That's a worn out die if you've ever seen one. Really chunky lettering. We'll certainly keep that. I mean, it doesn't add a great deal of value. It's only been caused because the die has been overused, but still an oddity. Some shiny ones in here. 2019 shields, are they? Yeah. Well, it's not boding well so far. Lots of 2019 shields. But I was watching Cali live stream last night. And uh, he had a really terrible start to the hunt. Finding virtually nothing at first. But it turned into an absolute corker. So we always keep the faith on this channel anyway. It only takes one coin to turn the hunt around. We've got plenty still to look through. 
There's a very, very battered Samuel Johnson's dictionary. It's like it's been stuck to the bottom of someone's shoe and scraped it along the floor for a while. Put the 2019s down there. Got a plug for giveaway. If you've not, if you've not entered in the recent giveaway, get entered. There's only about a week or so left to enter. Sure, all of you are in already, but I'm going to plug it till we draw it. It's a big one. The 1,000 subs. There's our first shirt off of the hunt. Pretty good condition. And I'm keeping these. I'm not keeping the um, Paddingtons. Found so many. This the Sherlock seems to be really, really prevalent uh, further up the country that you go, especially in Scotland. The guys get absolutely tons and tons of them. There's a Battle of Hastings. You will see these all in the news at the moment because apparently they're worth £63,000, but of course they're not. They're not worth any, anywhere near anything like that. <laughs> Maybe a pound. Maybe we'll put it in the thumbnail. Oh, there's a jersey. Nineteen ninety-seven jersey, fifty pence. The most common year you'll find. The first year of the new large size. But nice to find a territory. I don't know where I'm putting these coins on the table. They're all over the place right now. Out of practice with that. There's another scouting. We'll bung these up here. I don't know what I'm doing right now, guys. I'm in a rush. I'm kerfuffled. Well, I am excited to go and pick up 500 quid of £2 coins tomorrow. There's Jeremy Fisher. 2017 Beatrix Potter. Pretty common though, not really worth anything. Yeah, I can't remember the last time I don't know, 500 pounds of two pound coins. What was that noise? Is that you, Snacks? Wow, nothing in that one. Keep it rolling, keep it rolling. Ooh. Hope everyone's had a good week. I'm recording this on Friday and putting it out on the same day. The weekend is upon us. I cannot wait. I worked last weekend and I've been working all week this week. One more evening and I get a bit of a rest. Wow, we're struggling, guys. We're struggling. We keep the faith. That's a third scouts. Of the hunt. Pretty uh, unusual. That's seen better days, hasn't it? Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Oh, there's Mrs. Tiggy Winkle. Part of the 2016 Potter set. We'll certainly keep her. Um, but she's considered to be the lowest value 2016 Potter. 
barely creeping over face value, really. And there's a Victoria Cross Heroic Axe. Not going to be a 2019 one in that shape, is it? Because, of course, this was re-released in the 50 Years of 50p military set, which we saw in my last video as well. There's Team GB 2016. Not a bad find. Again, just creeping over face value, I think, these days. Certainly a keeper. It's Commonwealth Games Glasgow 2014. One that we're seeing less and less of. Of course, shares an obverse with the Kew Gardens. Always a bit of a heart-stopping moment when you see this obverse. Ooh. Underrated coin. One of those ones that suffers from a high mintage. There's Samuel Johnson's Dictionary. Bit of a better state than the last one we found. We're finding stuff now. We're finding stuff. We're rolling. There is Paddington and Bear at the Palace. That's the 2018 Paddington set, and definitely a keeper in my opinion. Snacks is snoring, he's had enough. We're finding stuff now, Snacks, wake up. What's that gonna be? Battle of Hastings, is it? Yeah. Another one, another 63K in the bank. Boom. <laughs> Christopher Ironside, pretty common. We're getting some variety now, it's picking up. Just need to find the 14 Olympics we need in a Kew Gardens now in the last 10 bags or so. Optimism, you see, optimism. But when you're getting these um, sealed bags, it, it really, really is potluck. You could get people's, this could be someone else's hunt, you know, primarily, and everything they've thrown back. Another iron side, or you could get a collection cash in. Just depends on your luck, and that is the fun of the hunt, right? Wouldn't be much fun if you've well, it would be pretty fun if you found awesome stuff all the time, but if everybody found awesome coins all the time, they wouldn't be that rare, would they? And there's 2016's Peter Rabbit. Probably up there as the find of the hunt so far. And yet another scouting. That's four. Snacks, give it a rest, mate. You'll be sending everyone to sleep who's watching. Is that a thing? That's yawning, isn't it? They reckon it's contagious. Snoring contagious as well? I reckon it is. There's Tom Kitten, the other 2017. It's funny, actually, we found the uh, two 2017 potters with the two lower miniatures out of the four. No sign of Benjamin Bunny or the tail of Peter Rabbit. And although... Jeremy and Tom do have low mintages than the other two. They're still not what we would call low mintages. It's just that the other two are so, so high, Benjamin and the tale of Peter. There's our first public libraries. Year 2000.
We've done all right here. We've had a nice mix. We just need that one stunner to really top the hunt off now. In that bag, we've got five bags left. There's another iron side as well. Three of those now. Of course, the designer of many a coin, Christopher Ironside. There's another 63k. Bang. We are in the money. Absolutely rolling in it. I'm retiring now. But yeah, these media stories get a bit out of hand, don't they? I mean, it does bring interest to the hobby, I guess. Um, so yeah, is it, is it a bad thing? Is it a good thing? What do you think? Be nice if they hyped up coins which are actually rare. A little bit, but hey ho. Whoops. We were doing so well. We finally dropped one. Three bags left. I spy a creepy eye. There was a Tom Kitten in this handful. There he is. Staring into your soul. Ooh. Where was he? Where's he gone? Oh, I can't see him for looking. Two more. There's a VC medals. Another one in the British military set, 50 years of the 50p. But this is the first release, the 2006. Obviously highly unlikely to find a uh, 2019 in the wild and there's another one straight after that is quite bizarre <laughs> to not find any and then just get two on the bounce and there we have another set of creepy eyes there's another tom all right it's all down to the last bag bring us something for the book. that the Scottish have had recently. If you want to see a couple of cracking hunts, definitely check out Caddy's live stream and Jamesy B. Hoy Coins had a stonker of a hunt as well a couple of days back. So check them guys out if you want a fix of um, some better finds. But we found a few things. We got a Jersey Territory. I'm not sure we've actually got that one in the book yet. Oh yeah, of course we do. Not that year though. We've got the 2007 Oh, sorry, 2009 and 2005. So we'll add that in, a new year on the territories page. So we did add something to the book. And then we found all these keepers as well. We'll certainly be keeping all those. Sherlock we keep as well. And these ones at the top can go back to the bank. But thanks for watching everyone. Hopefully we'll have some better luck next time. 
it's good back to be back hunting though. Nice 250 bag. Take care. Make sure you enter the giveaway if you're not in it. I'm going to keep plugging it. I don't care. <laughs> See ya.